Welcome back, it's Cabin Cowboy here with another Ultimate Alliance campaign video. Um, just want to say, hey, don't forget we have a giveaway going on, but let's do a little update for that. We had such a great turnout, I think we had like 50 new subscribers last night since the release of that video. So I just want to give you all some more, um, pep, if we can hit 3,000 subscribers by that same day. October 10th, then I'll double the amount of rewards and double the amount of winners. So now we'll have five, four or five winners, maybe six. I don't know. I want to see how I want to disperse it. However, that'll be about $300 to give away. The odds of you winning would be about like 2%, which is phenomenally better than the one in 175 million of your odds of winning the lottery. So don't forget that, and go hit subscribe, go share that with all your friends, and let's get some money going around and get some better accounts. So, more Ultimate Alliance campaign while doing Kingdom Threat, which is pretty much just me doing Kingdom Threat and watching Ultimate Alliance campaign and my alliance getting attacked. So I always love doing that. But let's go ahead and take a look at this. So just doing some dailies, just messing around, trying to kill some time while my marches are in transit, killing the kingdom threat. I usually do teleport closer just so I don't waste so much time. Um, however, I don't really feel like leaving my spot in the hive while I am doing Ultimate Alliance campaign. So we've got some teammates here and we want to go ahead and help them out so that they don't die while they're defending the treasure and go help them kill this guy. So, I don't even know what happened here. Like, I didn't see myself lose any troops. <laughs> I didn't get, like, the power loss notification. Um, so that was quite interesting. But we won, just absolutely obliterated that guy who came in and attacked us. Even though I didn't have a mercenary airship, I don't believe. I usually don't buy them. Um, I should because the mercenary airship is extremely important if you're going to be attacking and you want to you know, keep your troops alive because it'll allow you to get multiple marches out and be able to do some damage. So, like this stuff really annoys me right here. We have the fortress and there's three troops in the fortress. But yet, they're still able to take the same amount of treasure per second that they would if they had a full march or if they had a million troops in there. So it really bothers me when that stuff happens because there's just nothing we can do. You just got to keep going back and forth with them and trying to win. So now we see here we've got some bugs in that tower, but I can't really do anything about it until I get my airship back because my airship makes up a huge amount of my stats. And I need that there to help me.
So I'm just collecting all of my free experience and then I'll get my, you know, 5 million when I'm done with it. So now we're just, you know, continuing. Almost at uh, Lord level 52. So I really look forward to getting that. Give me some more, you know, quick, easy stats. I'm just going back and forth with this guy. Like, all right, you have no troops at home, but, like, you know, let me hit you in the fort. Let me hit you at home. Just, like, please leave me alone. Just gotta keep, you know, keep it clear, keep it going. But now we're finally gonna get some help with from Darth Rage for once in our lives. Usually doesn't happen that way, but I guess he actually wants to do something now. So that's nice of him. I appreciate that. Alright guys, and thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video.